Okay, I just want to talk about the importance of the function modulation. We've set this up in the background, in the settings. You don't have to set anything up, we've done this for you. I just want to talk about the importance of this modulation function. So if we go into main zone, and go to modulation, as you can see on my heat pump, I've put it as yes, and give it an allowance of up to 10 degrees. It goes all the way down to zero, so from zero to 10, I've given it that allowance of maximum allowance. What this modulation does is, I've got a Madoka thermostat downstairs and they have to be paired together. What this does is, as it hits my set point temperature of 21 degrees, I've given it an allowance for the heat pump to back off and modulate down up to 10 degrees off the weather curve. So, as that hits that 21 degrees, it's going to start uh, lowering the fan speed, lowering the output, lowering the pump um, outside and the flow rates and really backing everything off because it's saying it's getting to a comfortable state and the state that I've set it to as 21 degrees. If there is massive swings in temperatures and the, the temperature is struggling, then we've given allowance to drive up off the weather curve up to 10 degrees and get to that set point temperature. We don't ever think we'll ever experience that scenario. Um, along with that, it, our radiators are sized correctly, so we won't drive off that curve up to 10 degrees. What you'll see on our systems is it's always modulating down, which is healthy for the heat pump and efficiencies. So we definitely want this function on, which is yes. I would recommend up to 10 degrees. It's never gonna get to 10 degrees, but it just gives it an allowance to modulate down as maximum as possible off that weather curve when it heats that set point temperature. So the importance of modulation.